Assalamu alaikum and good day. I am Abdul Malik Tasnimadi and my report is about evolution of currency and instruments used in financial markets. Before we discuss it, let us first define what is currency, what is financial instrument, and what is financial market. So a currency is a medium of exchange for goods and services. In short, it is money in the form of paper or coins usually issued by a government and generally accepted at its face value as a method of payment. While an instrument or financial instrument is a contract between individuals or parties that holds a monetary value, they either be created, traded, settled, or modified as per the involved parties' requirement. A financial market is any marketplace where the trading securities occurs. So this is where the trading of securities and exchanging of currency or money for things happen. To better understand the evolution of currency and instrument in financial market, we must enter into the history of money. Before we go deeper into the history of money, let us first define what money is. So a money is defined as something generally accepted as a medium of exchange, a measure of value, or a means of payment. Money is commonly defined as anything authorized by law to be generally accepted as a legal tender, as a medium of, and a standard of value in payment of goods and services without reference to the general standing of the person who offers it. In short, money is the lawful token used in our society to pay for goods, services, and even our debts. So as long as the money is lawful and not counterfeited, it is accepted as payment without regard as to who is making it. So some of you might be wondering about the difference between the money and the currency. So the currency is only a form of money, while the money is broader in scope. Before barter came into practice, there was very little need for exchange as people lived very simple lives. They did farming, planting, fishing, and hunting. They provided the food that they needed in order to survive. However, as society evolved, the habits and ways of life of men changed. Men found the need to exchange what they produced for what they needed. And this is when the barter came into practice. A barter is defined as the exchange of things for other things. For example, rice was traded for fish or meat, coconut was traded for sugar or coffee. However, this practice or the bartering is not a very reliable and efficient medium of exchange. Why? Because for example, if I want a meat but only have fish to offer, then in this case, I have to find someone that is willing to exchange his meat for my fish. But what if that someone does not want fish, instead he wants a sack of rice? So in this case, I have to find someone that is willing to exchange his sack of rice for my fish before I can have the meat. Eventually, because of those problems arising from the system of bartering, our ancestors developed new system, which is the use of commodity items with great utility like animal skins, salt, grain, and materials like obsidian as set mediums of exchange. They are termed as commodity money because they had intrinsic value. So what is this intrinsic value? So the intrinsic value is the value or the essential value in nature of a thing. For example, Aside from using as a medium of exchange, the animal skin could be used for clothing and the grain could be eaten. Just like bartering, the use of commodity money as a medium of exchange had disadvantages as well. Firstly, it was a problem to store some of them for a long time. For example, it is very difficult to maintain the freshness of animal skin for a long period of time. Secondly, the accurate measurement of their value was not easy. And for these reasons, some societies started to use precious metal such as gold and silver. Around 700 and 500 BCE, coins were minted in separate civilizations stretching from Greece to India and then to China. India and China used coins punched with holes to demark value. 
The first stump coins were used in 700 BCE on the Greek island of Aegina. Around 2,700 years ago, the first coins were produced in the ancient kingdom of Lydia, now known as Western Turkey. They were made of a mixture of silver and gold. Until several hundred years ago, these metals functioned as a medium of exchange in most societies. This new metal money was an important advance since it was easier to carry and lasted for a long time. However, despite the advantages of metal money, this metal money were still quite heavy and as a result, it was hard to transport them especially at a bigger sum. For example, if I want to buy a house or land, I have to bring a bunch of coins with me. And another disadvantage of coins is that it is easy to steal them. Due to the disadvantages of gold and silver, banks evolved in 16th century and 17th century in England. Merchants used to store their gold there and in return received a statement indicating how much they had deposited. This statement could be signed over to other persons when merchants want to buy something. As a result, Paper currency, which are pieces of paper that function as a medium of exchange, develop. However, this paper currency only serves as a medium of exchange and not yet accepted as legal tender until fiat money came into practice. Fiat money is similar to paper money, however, this money were issued by the government. So this means that this currency has to be accepted as legal tender. It is called fiat money, which is not convertible into precious metal anymore and has no intrinsic value. The value of fiat money derives from the perceived authority and creditworthiness of the issuer. As we now know, paper currency and coins can easily be stolen and can be expensive to transport because of their size. As a consequence, with the development of modern banking, checks were invented. Checks are a type of IOU payable on demand that allows transactions without the use of currency. No money needs to be moved when using checks because payments balance out such that both checks are cancelled. This simplifies the transactions for large amounts of balances a lot. As a result, it reduces transportation costs and therefore improves economic efficiency. However, despite the advantages, it is very time-consuming to trade a check for currency. This may result in difficulties if something has to be paid quickly. Furthermore, it takes a few days until the bank will credit the account with a check that a person has deposited. To process check is very costly. For example, it has been estimated that it costs over 5 billion US dollars per year to process checks written within the USA. Due to the development of computer and advanced telecommunication technologies, new advances in the payment system were made like the invention of the electronic fund transfer system. This technology introduced individual access to the payment system by means of a debit card reader or a personal computer. Deposits are simply transferred from payer to payee using electronic devices. In connection with EFTS, the evolution of plastic cards, example debit and credit cards, should be mentioned. These cards allowed people to make purchases which are paid for by booking the amount from the person's bank account either immediately or at the end of a month. To sum up my report, money has taken different forms over time. Today's money has evolved over centuries. Due to many innovations and technological advances in the computer industry, money has become finally what it is today. From commodity money over fiat money, it has evolved into digitized money. Digital money makes it possible to undertake cash transactions over the internet. By doing so, it will be the basis for a new generation of digitized business. So that's all for my report and thank you for listening.